Hello, this is my third BNAV video. Um, this one starts out with me in a very bad starting position. Um, there's no way that I can get out of there without taking on some damage. So what I'm going to do is, because doing a straight would be pointless and doing a right would take too much of my sail tokens, I'll do a left for the first move to get out of there. Collide with a rock, get half a line of damage. Let's see. Okay, for this next move, the opponent would either go straight, uh, which would get it closer to me, or escape into the whirlpool to get a better position. Um, either way, I'm going to make a straight in, uh, into the current shoot, and then um, because going into the whirlpool would be too much of a risk, I'll make a right and let's see okay so the opponent opted for the ladder um, which was escape into the whirlpool to get a better position and although I missed shooting it on the third move um, I did get it on the last so the score is 1 to 0 0.5 for this one this part's tricky as we're facing the same direction and are very close to each other for this first move I suggest either a left or a straight um, I went with a straight and it turns out that my opponent either read my moves or was in sync with my line of thinking as we performed the exact same way for this turn score now is 3 2.5 um, if you couldn't tell, this is a bad position. If you stay in the current, it'd be very like very likely that the opponent ship would, would ram you, or you'd ram them multiple times. They could also shoot you by making a ramming turn into you, forcing their ship's broadside to be in a nice position to shoot balls into your backside. So turn your way out of there. And we went opposite directions without um, taking any damage at all. For this turn, there were a lot of possibilities of where the opponent would go, and I only had a few sail tokens to choose from. Like, I have one left, one straight, one right. I'm gonna get a left, I mean, a straight soon. So, um, I just did what I thought was safe and made two straights. For this one, um, it was likely that they would go either straight or make a right, um, like turning left would make them get far away and they don't really want that at this point. So I took off auto sales um, so I could choose which tokens I'd be able to get next and I got two left turns. So I did that, shot them twice, and then um, they escaped into the world ball. Score 5 to 2.5. You can see me trying to predict where they would go, where I would go with my mouse. Um, I was hoping that they would turn right on this second move. Okay, now is the second move. And so, um, they didn't do that. <laughs> um, if they did, they would have gotten a shot twice, because that's where my um, cannons were landing. Auto sails off again, as I want to get into a closer spot so I can shoot them while they're in the whirlpool. Um, I would need two right turns, so I have one now, I'm waiting for my second one. Okay, I got my second right turn. Um, I do a lot of last second moves, it's just the way that I be enough. So um, you'll see me waiting until the timer um, runs 
like almost completely out until like right now I would start putting in the moves so two right turns shoot 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 and I score one more shot on them so it's six to two point five they escaped into the I mean, they escaped out of the whirlpool um, the only way I'd be able to get into position to shoot them would be if I were to make a left and two straights or by using the whirlpool I can do two lefts and you can see me tracing where I would end up with I mean where I would end up by using the mouse two more shots so now they're maxed um, if you've been watching kinda intently, you'll notice I use the sail tokens for like the left turns or the right turns in pairs most of the time. So it's like a left left or a right right when I'm three spaces ahead or behind the opponent. There's also the left right combination which is also useful. Um, right now the score is maxed to 2.5. After maxing them out, it's time to go in for the grapple. And for this next turn, um, I just need two moves to grapple them, but hey, what if they move? So it's a very good idea to put in extra moves after the move that you think is going to get you grappled. So um, these first two moves that I'm putting up will let me grapple if they stay where they are, and the third is if they move up one space, and the last is for my escape route. And you'll see that my second grap um my first grapple attempt worked, so there's that. Max to two point five.